so we are back here with our chickens um, I have a fence that I created myself all it is, is the plastic mesh and some fiberglass poles they're not that hard it's not that hard to create it's not that hard to build it's cheaper than having your regular premier one fencing and I'm gonna show you what I did so basically my husband and I were sitting here thinking you know how can I create a fence that's movable that I do not have to pay all that money for for the electric yes I could need I could need some electric fencing but in this neighborhood right here we don't have a lot of predators and it's an easy and simple way to move your chickens without having an electric fence and how to ha and without having a lot of money into that fence. I only spent a hundred dollars on this fencing, and it does wonderful. We've had this fence for a good almost a year now, so I'm gonna show you what it is and how I use it. These poles right here. They were only like $20, $30 at Amazon. They are five foot poles. Maybe a little shorter than five foot because I'm five foot. But anyways, they're five foot poles. All right, now I took these poles and this roadside mesh stuff that you see on the side of the roads when they're doing construction work. I got this at Amazon too for maybe $69, 70 bucks. And I got to thinking, well, I can zip tie the fence to the poles, just like I did here, and create a fence that will help keep the, ki the, the chickens in. And it's not gonna cut you, it's not gonna, like when you're carrying it, it's not gonna tangle up. Um, right now it's just a big mess, but it's not tangled. I don't have to worry about that because this plastic mesh actually keeps it from getting tangled up when you move it. We are going to move this fence today and we're, what we're going to move it with and how we're going to stick the poles in the ground because you cannot stick the poles into the ground because they're fiberglass and they will bend and break. So I have a long drill bit that is approximate of the same size as the pole and my husband's drill <laughs> y'all I swear I do not know the, the size of this drill bit but I know it's a long one and you can get down into the soil especially around Lake Murray because it has a lot of clay and clay is kind of hard so I'm going to get to pulling this fence up and we're going to maneuver this fence and move it and I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright guys, so basically what I'm doing is I am trying to form a corner here with this other fencing that was already here prior from before I put this other fence up. This is going to be a stabilized corner and it's not going nowhere. So I'm going to zip tie this orange fence to this and this is actually what gave me the idea. But I needed it to be movable and light so that's why I went with the lighter poles. So I'm going to zip tie this corner and then we're going to start running, running the other fence. Okay, so now that the ha I have a stable corner, I'm going to work off this corner and I'm going to run it kind of 
and figure out where I want to go as far as where I need the chickens at. All right guys, so I've been a little distracted. I've been doing so many things at one time, but I am back on track. I'm gonna run this uh, chicken fence straight through these trees uh, just to kind of hide them and this, they're shaded. They're not in the sun. They're not out in the direct heat. So we're just gonna keep them in the shaded area. But I am making it removable so that way my my father-in-law can um, can alter it whichever way he wants to in the future. Um, I had to take out the main gate, so either which way I would have had to fix it or finagle it one way or the other. Um, so because I needed the main gate for a trellis out there at the property.
You got that ass drill? So here's the fence. We did a really good job and it's running straight through the cedars. It gave them a little bit more room and... Alright guys, so it's time to bring this video to an end. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And basically that's like... I know today's video really didn't make sense. But... And it was kind of all over the place. I feel like it was all over the place but when you're out here trying to do this by yourself with one toddler running around it's kind of hard so I want to thank y'all for watching and y'all have a wonderful day Ooh. Just wait, Courtney, back up. open the chicken pen okay. they're gonna come out